Anthony Edwards, born August 5, 2001, nicknamed Ant-Man or simply Ant, is an American professional basketball player for the Minnesota Timberwolves of the National Basketball Association, NBA. A shooting guard, he played college basketball for the University of Georgia Bulldogs and was selected with the first overall pick by the Timberwolves in the 2020 NBA draft. Edwards finished his high school career at Holy Spirit Preparatory School in his hometown of Atlanta, where he was rated a consensus five-star recruit and one of the best players in the 2019 class by major recruiting services. As a senior, he earned McDonald's All-American and USA Today All-USA First Team honors. He committed to play college basketball for Georgia, becoming the highest-rated recruit to do so, and was named SEC Freshman of the Year after his freshman season with the team. Early Life Edwards spent his early life in Atlanta, Georgia. When he was three years old, he was given the nickname Ant by his father. For much of his childhood, Edwards played football in the running back, quarterback, and cornerback positions. He played youth football for the Atlanta Vikings and became one of the best Pop Warner running backs in the country by age 10. However, Edwards switched his focus to basketball because he thought it looked more fun after watching his brothers play the sport. He often played basketball against his brothers at their grandmother's house. Entering ninth grade, he began training under the guidance of Justin Holland, a former college basketball player for Liberty and an Atlanta-based basketball trainer. High school career Due to his success with the Atlanta Express 15 under amateur athletic union team, Edwards was considered a four-star recruit by rivals in 2016. He began playing high school basketball for Thurl High School in Atlanta as a member of the 2019 class. In early January 2017, Edwards transferred to Holy Spirit Preparatory School in Atlanta and reclassified to the 2020 class. He made the move in an effort to improve his academic performance, since Holy Spirit Preparatory had small class sizes and support to help that. In March 2018, Edwards helped Holy Spirit Preparatory defeat the Heritage School for the Georgia Independent School Association, GISA, Class AAA State Championship. He reclassified back to the 2019 class in November 2018 after seeing academic improvement. As a result, Edwards rose to become the number one recruit in the top 247 rankings by recruiting website 247 Sports. In his senior season, his team finished as GISA class AAA runners up to the Heritage School, despite 27 points from Edwards. At the end of the season, he was averaging 29 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 assists per game. Edwards garnered USA Today All-USA First Team and Max Preps All-American Fourth Team recognition. He played in the McDonald's All-American Game and Jordan. Brand Classic in March and April 2019, respectively. Recruiting by consensus among major recruiting services 247 Sports, ESPN, and rivals, Edwards was rated a five-star recruit, top five player, and the top shooting guard in the 2019 class. On February 11, 2019, he committed to play college basketball for Georgia, becoming the program's best recruit in the modern recruiting era. Edwards chose the Bulldogs over offers from Florida State, Kansas, Kentucky, and North Carolina. Edwards was drawn to Georgia because two of his favorite players, Dwayne Wade and Victor Oladipo, had been coached in college by head coach Tom Crean. College career Edwards in February 2020 on November 5th. 2019, Edwards made his debut for the Georgia Bulldogs, recording 24 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 steals in a 91-72 win over Western Carolina. It was the most points by a Georgia freshman debutante since Basketball Hall of Fame inductee Dominique Wilkins in 1979. On November 26, he scored a season-high 37 points, including 33 in the second half, and posted six rebounds, four steals, and three blocks in a 93-85 loss to third-ranked Michigan State at the Maui Invitational. Edwards became the first Georgia freshman to score at least 37 points in a game since Jackie Dorsey in 1975. In his final game at the tournament, he led all scorers with 24 points and made the game-winning shot against NCAA Division II team Chaminade. 
On February 1, 2020, Edwards recorded 29 points and 15 rebounds, both game highs, in a 63-48 victory over Texas A&M. In his next game, he led all scorers with 32 points in an 81-75 loss to Florida. On February 26, Edwards scored 36 points and collected 7 rebounds, 4 assists and 4 steals. In a 94-90 overtime defeat of South Carolina, as a freshman, he averaged 19.1 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 2.8 assists per game. Edwards was the top scorer on his team and among freshmen. Nationally He earned second-team All-SEC and SEC Freshman of the Year honors. Edwards collected SEC Freshman of the Week accolades four times during the season, the most in program history. He was also one of five finalists for the Jerry West Award, which recognizes the top collegiate shooting guard. On March 20, 2020, in the spring of his freshman year, Edwards declared for the 2020 NBA draft as one of the most touted prospects in his class. He signed with an agent, foregoing his remaining college basketball eligibility. Professional career Minnesota Timberwolves, 2020 present, 2020 to 21 season, all rookie honors the 2020 NBA draft was delayed by five months due to the COVID 19 pandemic. In November 2020, Edwards was selected as the number one overall pick by the Minnesota Timberwolves on draft night. On December 23, 2020, Edwards made his NBA debut, putting up 15 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists in 25 minutes in a 111-101 win against the Detroit Pistons. On March 18, 2021, Edwards scored a then-career-high 42 points along with seven rebounds and three assists in a game against the Phoenix Suns becoming the third youngest player to score 40-plus points in NBA history. After the season, Edwards finished second in Rookie of the Year voting and was named to the NBA All-Rookie First Team. 2021-22 season, first playoff appearance on November 10, 2021, Edwards scored a then-career-high 48 points on seven three-pointers in a 123-110 loss to the Golden State Warriors. On January 25, 2022, in a 109-107 win over the Portland Trail Blazers, Edwards became the first player in NBA history to record a stat line of at least 40 points, 9 rebounds, 3 blocks, 3 steals, and 5 three-pointers in a single game. He joined Carmelo Anthony as the only players to score 40 points. Without an assist at 20 years old or younger. On April 7, 2022, Edwards scored a career-high 49 points in a 127-121 win over the San Antonio Spurs. In Edwards' playoff debut on April 16, 2022, he logged 36 points and 6 assists in a 130-117 Game 1 win over the Memphis Grizzlies in the opening round of the 2022 NBA playoffs. Minnesota would go on to lose to Memphis despite Edwards' 30-point, 5-rebound, five 5-assist, five 2 steal and 2 block outing in the 114-106 closeout loss in Game 6. 2022-23 season, first All-Star appearance on January. 21, 2023, Edwards scored a season-high 44 points, including a season-high 8 three-pointers, along with 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals and 3 blocks in a 113-104 win over the Houston Rockets. On February 10, 2023, he was named an All-Star for the first time in his career as a reserve. Edwards and De'Aaron Fox were announced as injury replacements for injured stars Stephen Curry and Zion Williamson. On April 9, in the final game of the 2022-23 season, Edwards recorded 26 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists, 4 steals and 4 blocks to help lead the Timberwolves to a 113-108 win over the New Orleans Pelicans, earning the 8th seed in the Western Conference play-in tournament. In Game 2 of the Timberwolves' first-round playoff series against the Denver Nuggets, Edwards put up 41 points in a 122-113 loss. His 41 points also set a Timberwolves franchise record for the most points scored in a playoff game, surpassing Sam Castle's previous record of 40. On April 21, in Game 3 of the first round of the playoffs, Edwards scored 36 points in a 120-111 loss against the Denver Nuggets. 
he joined Kobe Bryant with the second-most 30-point NBA playoff games before turning 22 years old. In Game 4, Edwards had 34 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 3 blocks and scored a dagger 3-pointer to lead the Timberwolves to a 114-108 overtime win. In Game 5, Timberwolves were eliminated from the playoffs by the eventual NBA champion Nuggets despite a 29-point, 8-rebound, 7-assist and 2-block performance by Edwards. With the Nuggets leading 112-109 to in the final seconds of the game, Edwards missed a game-tying three-pointer at the buzzer. 2023-24 season on November 13, 2023, Edwards was named the NBA Western Conference Player of the Week for the first time in his career after leading Minnesota to an undefeated week, 4-0, with averages of 31.3 points, 6.3 rebounds, 6.8 assists and 2.0 steals, on January 27, 2024. Edwards recorded 32 points, 6 rebounds and a career-high 12 assists in a 113-112 loss against the San Antonio Spurs. On February 1, Edwards was named to his second All-Star game as an Western Conference reserve. National Team Career Edwards was a member of the United States national team that competed in the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. He started all eight games and was selected in the All-FIBA World Cup team. He was the leading scorer for the U.S. by averaging 18.9 points per game as they finished in fourth place. Personal Life Edwards' mother, Yvette, and grandmother, Shirley, both died from cancer during an eight-month span in 2015, when he was in eighth grade. He has worn the number five basketball jersey since high school to honor them, as they both died on the fifth day of the month. As a result, Edwards was raised by his sister, Antoinette, and brother, Antoine, who shared legal custody over him. In high school, Edwards frequently worked as an instructor at a number of youth camps. He intended to major in marketing while attending the University of Georgia. During his childhood, Edwards also starred in baseball, often acting as his team's fourth or fifth hitter in the batting order. Edwards has also jokingly expressed how he was very skilled at a variety of sports when he was younger. He owns two dogs and has also expressed his affinity for lions, although he does not believe he has the requisite space to care for one, Edwards made his acting debut in the 2022 sports drama film Hustle. His performance in the film as the main antagonist, Kermit Wiltz, was praised by many, including the film's producer and star Adam Sandler.